Orwell wrote the last pages of 1984 in a remote house on the Hebridean island of Jura, which he had bought from the proceeds of Animal Farm. He worked between bouts of hospitalization for tuberculosis, of which he died in a London hospital in January 1950. But he left one final warning. 1984 is, I believe, a quite terrifying masterpiece. So terrifying, in fact, I don't think I should like to read another like it. I am not absolutely dissatisfied with it. I think it is a good idea, but the execution would have been better if I had not been under the influence of TB when I wrote it. You once claimed that you have an ability to face unpleasant facts. Is that what you've demonstrated in 1984 by drawing an accurate portrait of the future? I think that allowing for the book being, after all, a parody, something like 1984 could actually happen. This is the direction the world is going in at the present time. In our world, there will be no emotions except fear, rage, triumph and self-abasement. The sex instinct will be eradicated. We shall abolish the orgasm. There will be no loyalty except loyalty to the party. But always there will be the intoxication of power. Always, at every moment, there will be the thrill of victory, the sensation of trampling on an enemy who is helpless. If you want a picture of the future, imagine a boot stamping on a human face. Forever. The moral to be drawn from this dangerous nightmare situation is a simple one. Don't let it happen. It depends on you.